So today we're talking about the dangers of being a DIY financial planner. So if you do all of your own financial planning, you choose the investments, you're picking out the different companies to work with, you do your own taxes, you're considered a DIY planner, but there's some hidden dangers behind there that you need to be aware of before you continue down the path. Most people become DIY planners by default, right? No one's usually given advisors or that's the first thing they look for when they have their first job. So you start just doing things on your own, figuring it out. And when we're young, it may not be too bad. We've put money away in, in our plans and we kind of go about our day. At some point, it's important to understand that there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes in the general financial world that you need to be aware of and know about if you want to make a truly successful plan. And chances are, if you're working, you don't have the time to do that, right? I'm sure you have family and things you'd rather be doing than looking up the latest trends in the marketplace, trying to figure out what these headlines mean. Is this new bill from Congress going to affect me? And things of that nature. Because there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. And then one of the most dangerous things out there is it's not about what you don't know. It's about what you think you know that just isn't so. So if I think I know something and I'm committed to it and I just go about that way and then later I find out that it's completely different than what I thought, chances are it's probably too late for me to go in and fix it. And it could cost you errors in terms of, you know, losing money due to poor risk management, or maybe I got sucked up into some higher tax situation or something like that. So financial planning is not like building something at your house at a DIY project. Because if you mess something up, you break something, you can replace it or fix it. In the financial world, you probably can't replace it. You pick the wrong stock option and it goes south, there's nothing you can do to get your money back other than wait and hope it comes back, right? So it's really critical that you have the proper education in place. So the biggest cons when it comes to being your own DIY planner is just the sheer amount of knowledge that you need to accumulate over time. I've been in the space for 10 years and I still don't know everything. There's a lot of pieces and information changes. I'm always kind of second guessing stuff sometimes. I have to go double check before I tell somebody something because the rules are always changing. If not in front of it every day, you're not going to know about it. And if this isn't your full-time job, the chances of you knowing about these kind of changes or knowing the right resources or have the right contacts to look this kind of stuff up, probably doesn't exist and you're more likely going to miss out on it. So that's one of the key reasons there. Second one being the time commitment piece. Number three, it's just the complexity, especially if you're Washington State employee. Not only do you have to know all the financial planning stuff everyone talks about all the time, but you have your own retirement plan that is confusing in itself. I've recorded 150 videos on that topic alone and I still have a lot more to come. So your pension system and all the benefits are also complicated and that just adds even more on your plate. So not only have to know about Social Security, Medicare, and IRMA taxes and all this kind of stuff, you also know about how Plan 3, Plan 2, DCP, the new Roth changes, this new Washington Long-Term Care tax, it's a lot to keep track of. And chances are your time is worth more than that. So if you want to be a DIY investor, you either have to really like it or and have a lot of time in your hands. Otherwise, you're probably better off hiring someone to help you out with it. Because it's because someone that every day, chances are they're going to know more than what you do in your job, just like if I came to your role, it probably take me all of less than an hour to mess something up. You could try and do your own financial plan. You're probably going to mess something up. So hire the expert, pay them their costs. They're probably going to save you more in the long run. Now, when it comes to planning, it's a lot more than just investments. So it's the biggest thing to do by planners is they love showing their investment statements and what stocks they pick and this and that. That's great. Well, let me see your tax returns. How does that look? Let's see your state plan. Don't have one. Let's see your car insurance. Oh, I don't know what coverage levels I have. There's a lot more that goes on to financial planning than just picking stocks. That's like the least important thing because when the market goes up, everything's going to go up. So it's important to build holistic plans here. Now, one of the biggest tips I can tell you is paying the fee is often worth it. And that's coming from a personal standpoint. So I'm actually DIY investor myself, right? So case in point, I started getting into crypto trading a couple of years back and I didn't know anything about it. I did the whole Google thing, watched YouTube videos. I can do a little bit of it, but I knew there's a lot more out there. And I didn't have the time while running a business to know everything I wanted to know before putting trades into it. So what did I do? I went ahead and hired a coach. So I found a crypto trading platform or a coach that actually built some training systems, joined the program. I pointed at the money. It wasn't cheap, but I learned so much from that program that I had no trouble getting my feet wet and knowing exactly what to do. I had the support behind me in case I had questions and problems that came up, which it did on how to execute the system and place trades and navigate the whole crypto world because it, it is a lot. So I've, you know, I've paid a lot of money for that and it sped up the learning curve for me. So now I know pretty well how to navigate the different platforms and I've done all kinds of trading, uh, option trading, I've done perpetual futures, the spot trading, 
anything like that. I've gone like four or five different exchanges, done staking. So you name it, probably done it. I also went ahead and got my uh, certified digital asset advisor designation. So that was just a coursework on, you know, kind of how it all works and how, how to help clients with it. So I'm trying to get ahead of the curve because I know it's coming. Just an example of just because you're DIY doesn't mean you have to do it on your own. There's always experts out there and coaches that can help you exert your learning curve and learn and see things that you wouldn't otherwise see. And it just really spaces things up. So if you're finding yourself overwhelmed by it, not loving it, don't hesitate to go ahead and find a coach to help them with it. If you don't want them managing all your money, it's okay. There are advisors out there that will just give you the advice for a flat fee, right? So that's the service that we actually offer. <clears throat> People just pay us for the financial planning piece. They want to manage their own investments. That's fine. Don't care. So there's a lot of options out there. So if you feel trapped as a DIY investor, know that you have places to go. All right. So with all that said, I hope that puts some better perspective into your plan and give you guys some things to think about. If you guys need help, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys next time. Remember that your future depends what you do today.